Major record labels are suing AI companies claiming copyright infringement. The Recording Industry Association of America claims AI music companies Suno and Udio trained their programs using famous artists' songs without permission. The programs can even generate fake songs mimicking famous artists' voices, like this one created to sound like Jason Derulo. Let's bring in ABC News contributor, Google Tech Policy fellow Mike Muse. For more, Mike, you're laughing. <laughs> I don't like that song. <laughs> <laughs> Try again, AI. Um, so the record labels <laughs> say that's not the problem, yeah. though they're probably happy to hear it. They say these AI models only work by copying tons of songs and infringing yeah. copyrights in the process. So walk us through the technology here. How does it work? Then I've got to say, this is a type of case that I've been waiting to come forward in the court system. Mm -hmm. And as you and I always have these incredible AI conversations, I typically lean more pro-AI um, than most. But I've been really looking at this idea of copyright infringement, and eventually that was going to be the heart of it. So at its core, uh, what these generative AI companies are doing, think ChatGPT, that's a generative AI product, what they do is they learn off of a database of source material. And so what these music AI companies have done is they have essentially have trained uh, the computer system uh, to output a song, but they have trained on songs similar or actually have trained on Jason Derulo songs unto itself to create a new output. And so that is the heart of it when it comes to the, well, excuse me, that is the technology aspect of it and what we mean by training uh, the AI. The heart of this lawsuit, though, comes down to the issue of fair use. And the record labels and the tech companies are both using the terminology of fair use uh, to try to win their case. In particular, Excuse me, I want to look at my phone. I took some notes Go here. Go for it. Okay, in particular, the CEO of Asuno, he says, quote, our technology is transformative. It is designed to generate completely new outputs. That's a key word, transformative, because in order to be able to say we created this output in these songs based upon fair use, it has to be a transformative work. And what legislation means by transformative is it has to be used differently than the original intent of it. And so this is what these music AI companies are standing on, which is it's a new transformative work, not the original work. Ooh, this sounds like it's going to be a tricky legal one. Mike, a number of writers, newspapers, comedians, lots of other people have sued AI companies over the years use of copyrighted material. So how big of an issue is this overall and where do you see this legal battle heading from here? This is huge because I've been waiting for certain cases to come forward. This music one is going to be a strong case to come forward because what you're going to be able to see is we played the Jason Derulo uh, song, but another popular songs that are on these music sites currently right now is Motown The Temptations and Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas. What the record label strong defense is going to be is that they are using the heart of an original copyright in order to sell or be transformative. You can't use the heart of it. Think that hook that we think about from Mariah Carey, all I want mm. from Christmas. And so that's the heart of it. So if they are using that for the new output, the record labels actually have a strong case to stand on. And we just got a Mike Muse serenade as a bonus as well. <laughs> I try. Anything for you, Diane. Now, Mike, some argue that AI should not be focused on art or music at all, right? The songwriting part, the singing part, that yeah. part's the fun part. So when are we getting the AI laundry folder put away? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I want to know the exact same thing as well, Diane. But what's interesting is, to your point, the music labels are actually agreeing with you on that one. Uh, they're saying uh, by these music AI tech companies standing on the use of fair use, are they being disingenuous and are preventing innovation from going forward that could help AI, such as folding your laundry, Diane? Okay, well, I'm, whatever that part is, I'm behind that. ABC News Google Tech Policy Fellow Mike Muse and ABC News Contributor. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>